Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be unboxing the JPD Win Gamepad. Now if you don't know what this is, this is basically a handheld PC gaming machine. Keyboard, mouse and controller with a built in screen that can play PC games and runs Windows 10 64 bit. So let's see how this next step in PC gaming is going to perform. So in the past decade, we've moved from gaming desktops to gaming laptops and now into VR. But soon after, we are re entering the handheld gaming market. So let's check this out. So here's the box. All right, nothing special all around. Pretty simple. Now, if you open it right here, there's actually a Windows 10 key right there. And I'm just hiding it from you guys so you don't steal my key. All right, let's move that aside. And in here, we have a screen protector, which is very nice to have. We have a box here with the adapter icon on it. So let's see what this is. So it's a 5 volt, 2.5 amp wall charger. And then next we have the charging cable that is USB type C, which is really nice to see on these new uh, Chinese devices supporting and future proofing us with USB type C because that is gonna be the new standard. You can plug it in anywhere and it's fast and it's really nice to have. And finally, we have some Apple uh, knockoff earbuds, which I'm not even going to touch at this point. And in the other box, we have a manual with some information. And on the other side, we have it in Chinese, English, and Japanese. All the information you need about the product of what things are. Because this thing has a lot of buttons. So that is it for the box. And we finally get to this amazing device. Now, this is pretty heavy. Believe it or not, it, it is pretty heavy. But... It is the good feel kind of heavy. It feels really solid in the hand. It pretty much just feels like a premium device. It is a very, very premium feeling device right now. So uh, let's see how much this thing weighs. So this thing weighs 669 grams, which is not bad at all for a handheld gaming PC. So on the top, we have a glossy metallic finish that is made of a hard plastic. And on the front, we have some ventilation holes. On the left side, we have a speaker. And on the right side, we have another speaker. On the back, we have the R1 and R2 buttons. We actually have those, right? They're kind of wiggly, but... But that's how they sound like. Next we have the USB Type-C, a mini HDMI cable, a micro SD card slot, and check this out, we also have a full-size USB 3.0 port. And that is pretty damn amazing for what this device is. It's a fully fledged computer, as well as a headphone jack right here, and L1 and L2. On the bottom, we have a QC sticker, some information, um, ventilation or speaker, and the fan controller right over here. You can turn it off, go low, or go high with the fan. So that is it for the outside, so let's open this bad boy up. Check that out. Look at these controllers. Pretty decent feeling buttons. The, the analogs actually remind me very much of the PlayStation Vita controllers, which I actually very much like. They're just smooth and wiggly. Um, these are actually very nice rubberized texture right here. The D-pad is not bad. It's not tactile as I would like, but it is still very, very good, especially if you're playing emulator games. Uh, let's unpeel this right here. Over here we have a input switch, which is a D input, mouse input, and Xbox input or X input. So mouse input, which pretty much uh, transform these analogs into a mouse pointer which is pretty cool. So we got a full size keyboard including arrow keys as well as a print screen and insert and uh, scroll lock. We got L3 and R3 extra buttons, start select, volume controls, Xbox and power. And on the bottom we have the FN key to activate the F1 to 12 keys as well as a Windows key. Alright so before we fire this up I just want to let you guys know that the keyboard here is tactile and it feels pretty damn good. So here's what it sounds like. So that is pretty damn satisfying. And the uh, space bar is uniform all around. All right, so enough talk, let's power this up. Got an LED indicator over here. I think that's a microphone right there too. And we're in guys. Here's the mouse. That is the mouse pointer. Really cool. And yes, it is touch screen. Very, very responsive. Now you can see that is tiny. Look at that, it's tiny. Look at this tiny start menu. It's beautiful. Okay, all right, calm down. Now the screen here is a 5.5 inch 720p IPS screen and it looks pretty damn beautiful. Uh, let's see how bright this can get. Right now it's at 40% and that is 100%. Let's turn off the lights and see what this looks like at night. So it's actually really decently lit 
um, uniform all around, and it just looks very beautiful. But one thing is, you guys can probably hear that, and that is the fan going in the background. Now it's going at 100%, so take a listen to this. All right, now if you flip this over and change it to minimum or low, there's what it sounds like. So not bad at all. So at this point, I have nothing to show right now. I have to download some games, get some apps, and show what this bad boy can do because this is very, very exciting. So what I'm going to do tonight is hop in bed, download some games, install Steam, and enjoy this magnificent device. So I'll see you guys in maybe a week. And we are back. So this is actually two weeks later and I have beeped up this device by a whole lot. I'll show you what I've done in just a bit. But first, let me show you a couple games that I can play on this device with no issues whatsoever. Alright, as you guys saw, we can play some pretty nice games on this thing. Now keep in mind, if it can't run regular games like CSGO or why not, you can always stream it since this thing has the 5GHz AC Wi-Fi network card, which is really, really useful and handy, especially when you're in bed or you want to go around the house and play some games. But nonetheless, it can do a whole lot. So let me show you what I've done to beef this device up, storage-wise. If we take a look at here, as you guys can see, we have the 64GB C drive, which is the Windows. And then we have an SD card that is also 64 gigabytes. And then we have a 120 gigabyte drive. And it says Lexar. Now if we take a look at the back, as you guys can see, we actually have a jump drive from Lexar or a flash drive, whatever you want to call it. And this is 128 gigabytes. And I've got it for around $30, which is just crazy. 128 gigabytes, just small. And it can go right in there very easily. Plus, if that's not enough storage, you always have the SD card which you can put in whatever amount you want, up to 256 gigabytes. So I mean, 
We're almost at 750 gigabytes if you get a higher size flash drive and a higher sized SD card. So expandability, it is there and it goes very nicely. So what I've actually done here is I used the SD card for videos and movies and the flash drive for Steam games. So what I could do is plug this into my computer, download the games I want and transfer them that I already have downloaded and pop them in back into this device. And likewise with the SD card for video, which is pretty damn awesome. So we can pretty much fill this up with tons and tons of awesome content like emulators, movies, shows, games, I mean, you know, you name it. But anyways guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Stay tuned for the review where I'm going to go in depth into this device and reviewing every aspect of it. Of games, to entertainment, to work, editing, you know, you name it, I'm going to be testing it on this device. Now no, it is not that powerful, but you can definitely do a lot with this thing. And especially if you're an enthusiast and you love tinkering with these things, you're going to enjoy this because you can definitely fill it up and customize it the way you want. As well, I'm going to be releasing another video where I'm going to be doing the top 100 games that you can run on this device. It's going to be really hard to make, but I'm going to do it and it is going to be very fun and exciting. It could be a top 50 or top 100, but it's going to be a big montage of tons and tons of games that would run on native resolution with at least 60 frames per second or playable frame rates. So yeah guys, I will be making that video. Stay tuned for that video, stay tuned for the review. And let me guys know if there's anything you want me to include in the review that you want me to test out. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the unboxing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video and in the review. So take care everyone.